Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. Here's what's making news now. A man remains in the hospital this morning after he was stabbed overnight. Police say 22-year-old Luke Croucher is behind bars, charged with assault after stabbing 27-year-old Matthew Clemens during a fight in Sand Gap in Jackson County. Clemens was airlifted to UK Chandler Hospital with a punctured lung. No word on his condition this morning. One person is dead after a boat flips over in Wolf County. It happened yesterday in a pond off Clifty School Road. Police say Clifford Likens of Campton was pronounced dead at the scene. Witnesses say Likens and another man were in a boat when it capsized. The other man made it to shore safely. No foul play is suspected. The coroner says Likens drowned. An autopsy is set for today after a Wolf County man is found shot to death in his home. Police made the discovery yesterday on Upper Gilmore Road. Investigators say 39 year old Elson Banks suffered multiple gunshot wounds and was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say as of now, they have no motives nor suspects in that killing. The Jesmond County School District now has its first confirmed case of swine flu. According to the Jesmond Journal, a student at Brookside Elementary tested positive for the virus yesterday. School officials say they've been cleaning and disinfecting even before this case. The student must now be cleared by a doctor before returning to school grounds. The outbreak that closed Junction City Elementary, Elementary for the rest of the week also includes at least one confirmed case of swine flu. Nearly 100 of the school's 350 students were out sick Monday with flu-like symptoms. This all comes as the Kentucky Department of Health raises Kentucky's flu level from sporadic to regional as flu activity increases. ABC 36 News has also learned a student in Nicholas County has viral meningitis. The school system says that student is now receiving treatment. Officials say they're cleaning and disinfecting surfaces the student had come in contact with. As UK students gear up for classes, officials in Lexington are preparing to crack down on code enforcement. They want to make sure out-of-town students know the rules. Yesterday, police and code enforcement officials hung flyers at over a 1,000 homes and apartments near the UK campus. The flyers provided information on trash and recycling pickup, general safety, and some information to help residents avoid being cited for violations. Because a lot of the residents aren't here full time, so uh, they're not familiar with the rules. And again, you know, a lot of people don't understand that you, you can't put furniture on the front porch and, and, you know, the trash has to be in the receptacles. And, and uh, we're just trying to educate them. And then we'll come back in a couple of weeks and then we'll do the enforcement end of it where we'll actually issue the citations and issue any fines or abatements that we need to do. Officials say many off-campus students are not aware of the trash and recycling procedures until they receive those flyers. Well, that is your ABC 36 News update. Be sure to check for new information online at WTVQ.com. Have a great Wednesday.